Ephesians 1 3 4. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before Him. Deuteronomy 28 13. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not down, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Proverbs 16 20. Whoever gives thought to the word will discover good, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. 2 Peter 1 3. His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. Psalm 119 1-3. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. Psalm 126 5-6. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Deuteronomy 28 3-6. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. 2 Corinthians 9 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Proverbs 16 3. Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. Psalm 24. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. Philippians 4:19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. 20 to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 1 1 3. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Mark 11 23-24. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Jeremiah 17 7-8 Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water, that sends out its roots by the stream, and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Jeremiah 29 12-13 Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me, when you seek me with all your heart. James 1 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Isaiah 26 3. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Numbers 6 24-26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 
Psalm 34 8 to 9. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. Matthew 5 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. John 1 12. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born, not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man, but of God. Psalm 91 9-11 Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Psalm 107, 19-21 Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. Exodus 23, 25-26 You shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. None shall miscarry or be barren in your land, I will fulfill the number of your days. Deuteronomy 28 7 The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Isaiah 41 10 Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 23 1-4 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 2 Samuel 22 2-4 He said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you save me from violence. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am safe from my enemies. Psalm 138 7 Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life, you stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. Philippians 4 7 And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm 34 4-5 I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. Mark 11:24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Colossians 3:23-24. And whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. John 16 24 Until now you have not asked for anything in my name, ask and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. Matthew 7 7 Ask, and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock, and it will be open to you. 2 Corinthians 9 8 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Luke 6 38 Give, and it will be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, 
and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. James 1 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. First John 2 27. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. 2 Corinthians 4 16. Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Romans 8:32. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Matthew 5 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Ecclesiastes 5 19. Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions, and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. John 4:14. 4, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Romans 5 5. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. 2 Peter 1 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Ephesians 1:18. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which He has called you, the riches of His glorious inheritance and His holy people. Proverbs 4:20-22. My son, be attentive to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight, keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them, and healing to all their flesh. Galatians 5 22-23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Deuteronomy 28 2. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 28 8 12. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your barns and in all that you undertake. And he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself, as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in prosperity, in the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of your ground, within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. 